So uh, I saw an article on a um, man locked up by doctors who was called delusional. Um, you know, basically, I get subjected to psychological torture. Um, I have no doubt nothing's changed, and today is just like yesterday. And uh, But you know what? God told me he's perfectly just. If God's perfectly just, you're fucked. <laughs> you can screw around all you want. You're fucked. Okay, God's perfectly just. I am not bitter because perfect justice happens. If God doesn't care, why should I care? Same with the Palestinians. If God doesn't care, why should you care? Um, so, um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, so I'm not at all worried. God is perfectly just. He told me. God told me he's perfectly just. Or he said, or he certainly is with me. Um, anyway, um, suit yourselves, niggers, because God's perfectly just. It's half. You can you can take your punishment now or later. It's up to you. You know the funny thing is, uh, okay, I, I was legitimately crazy for a few years, um, but. Um, what could have helped would have been philosophy. The world as it is and as it appears. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've come to realize that uh, there's so much written about um, insanity and craziness in reality that it's a common, everybody experiences it to some degree. Um, anyway, uh, you know what's funny is the... Uh, <laughs> the doctors don't have any idea of the tidal wave of a shitstorm that's about to hit when God is proven and all the atheists freak the shit out. <laughs> you have no idea what's about to happen. I don't know if it will, to be quite honest. Basically, what you're faced with is uh, the whole world being scared shitless and terrified. Except maybe they're not as guilty as I was so the, the doctors are just, they're not quite realizing what's about to happen <laughs> anyway so let's see what God says just imagine all the atheists God exists son of a bitch they're gonna freak the fuck out I was not a happy camper when I was an atheist and discovered God. I was not a happy camper. <laughs> I think you might have suicides and stuff. I don't know. All the gays are going to be in some serious distress. Off-season things, diligently exceptions. Account endeared millen sec matter iron stature muttering passions abided unclean. So uh you were questioning when I tore apart the name. I was trying to instruct you on how you interpret. Um if you you'll encounter lots of proper names that you get nothing, but if you tear them apart you get something. That's all I was trying to say. So off-seasoned things, diligently exceptions, account endeared, millen. This usually means military. To me, you can interpret it your own way. Millen sick matter, iron stature. I think maybe he's talking about Saddam Hussein. Muttering passions abided unclean. I don't know what it means. Basically, you learn there are yes and no and true and false and then there's fu fuzzy <laughs> you learn to take a lot of fuzzy stuff Is it, what did he say I don't know he kind of talked what did he say I don't know <laughs> he kind of talked that's all you get You just it goes in one ear and out the other 
but don't underestimate what it does to you. If nothing else, just enjoy God's company and uh, the world would be boring if there were not stuff to think about. A life is a long time and I think boredom is the biggest problem for the creator. He likes soap operas, that's a good thing. That's what the world, the world is designed to produce soap operas for God, to entertain him. That's what the world is designed for. This is self-evident. <laughs> the world is designed to produce soap operas to entertain God. That is what the world was designed for. Okay, let's see what we got here. 